All right, guys, so today we're gonna talk about lawnmower blades. If you remember, I hit that big rock, and uh, I like to have two sets of blades so that you can sharpen one set while the other set is on there. And so these are the replacement blades. So one thing a lot of people ask, is do you have to sharpen new blades? Because if you look at them, it's completely black, it's got paint on it. And it's actually not necessary to sharpen them. You can see, it's pretty sharp, but it does have the plastic on there, not the plastic, the paint on there. And that's just keeping the blade from, you know, rusting and all that stuff while it's sitting in the box, but as you mow, that paint's gonna come off. Another thing that people, I've actually seen this, they say they'll sharpen it and then spray paint it. Now, obviously that's a, not many people do this, but I've seen some people say they do that to prevent it from rusting. The flaw in that thinking is when you mow, it's gonna rub the paint off anyway, so um, not really a reason to do that, but you know, if that's your thing, go for it. If you like everything to be freshly painted after you clean it, just for looks, I mean, that's your call. That You, you can do that, but it's personally, I just take them out of the box, stick them on the mower, and start mowing. Um, and then when you do sharpen them, just try to stay with that exact angle that's already on them. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna mow, and I'm gonna show you after I'm gonna pull them back off and we'll see if any of the paint has come off. I'm not exactly sure how many uh, mows it takes for the paint to come off because uh, I've always just stuck them on and then a few months later sharpened them. Um, so we'll see how this goes. Now a few things to notice, I turned off the gas, I unplugged the spark plug and I tilted it with, oh, you can't see it, the oil is down there, the air filters up here. So we're good to go. Now, if you're using a ratchet or whatnot, you can stick a block of wood in there and it'll keep it from moving around. I've actually found if you use this, you can uh, pop it off quick enough, at least on the Honda, because it's offset from the circle. It's not gonna spin around. Um, just to note, if you're gonna use a tool like this, you can over tighten it very easily. So you gotta be very careful not to just drill it in and you know torque it down too much. Um, I used to use the torque wrench every time, but I'm going, kind of going risky here and uh, doing it this way just because it's a lot faster. And uh, yeah. Now for the Honda, if you want the small blade on top. Do it like so. Stick the bolt through. I like to just hand tighten them both. Just get them on there. I just do one click basically. I don't know what the technical term is, but I, I haven't had issues doing it this way. And uh, it's a lot faster and easier to do. And now while you got this here, it's a good time to get the scraper out and scrape any big clunks. I don't go too crazy, but, although I probably should have done it before putting the blade of that gone, huh?
All right, you can see paint is already coming off. It's a nice sharp edge, nice corners, so no real need to take the paint off. And you're good to go. If you look at the cut quality, it's nice and clean. No shredded edges. The uh, paint did not have an effect. And obviously I see the disease. We've been having lots and lots of rain. So I gotta get some fungicide down. But other than that, it's looking good. So there you have it. If you buy a new lawn blade, don't worry about uh, scraping the paint off or sharpening it or anything. It comes perfect how it should be. Just pop it on. Um, if you don't mow very often or you have a very small yard, you might even get away with just getting a new set of blades every year. Some people do that. Now, you could argue it's a waste of metal and all that stuff, but if you recycle the metal, hey, you might even make some uh, pocket change from it. So it's up to you. But personally, I like to have two sets and I just keep sharpening them until uh, they can't be properly sharpened again and then I get a new set. So if you like my video, be sure to subscribe. If you want to see me kill my old, beautiful, amazing lawn off to make you guys these videos, click the left video. If you want to see how I spread peat moss, click on the right one. <laughs> Thanks for watching.